I share this with you this week, and I keep thinking about all the crazy things we do around Christmas time that we don't do any other time throughout the year. In fact, they'd be kind of weird if we did. Like a middle-aged man dressed as a mythical bean in the middle of a mall, inviting people to come sit on his lap, and we think this is great. We'll get in line and take big pictures celebrating this moment. Instead of calling the security guard and saying, hey, you got a problem here you need to come take care of, right? But if this happened in August, we wouldn't do it. Because this time of year is when the magic of Christmas comes out, and we do things that we wouldn't do at any other time of the year. And so another one like Pentatonix, Mariah Carey, and Michael Bublé, all this Christmas pop that I cannot stand. I'll still find myself singing these songs this time of year because it's the magic of Christmas. Go do things this time of year, we don't do any other time of the year. Uh, I thought about another one. Uh, we will put a Christmas tree, light it up in the front window of our house, put lights around the outside of the house to attract eyeballs and attention looking into our house this time of year. Like that's weird, we wouldn't do that any other time of the year, but we'll let people drive by really slow and get all excited about Christmas cheer by looking into our house. That is strange, but people do things this time of year they don't do any other time of the year. And you and I have a friend, a family, that work, coworker, or somebody that we know that would accept an invitation to church this time of year that they wouldn't any other time of year. And so I'm asking, is your pastor, do you have a plan? Do you have somebody in mind that God's bringing you to mind that you don't know how they, God's been working in their life, but they just might say yes to an invite at Christmas because that's the magic of Christmas. Somehow our culture still believes you should be in church on Christmas and that they might accept an invitation like this year at this time that they wouldn't any other time of the year. And so what gathering are you coming to? Make sure you choose which gathering you're coming to. Grab some tickets for you and for somebody else and then have the courage this week, a couple weeks out, to invite somebody to meet Jesus at this crib this Christmas at LCBC because that's really the magic of Christmas that an invite can change somebody's life because it's really an invite to meet Jesus and when I met Jesus and when you met Jesus everything changed and that's our prayer this year love you guys we'll see you soon